this is a demonstration on how to build a track selecting system. Before we get started, I'd like to mention I have yet to see a solar or lunar eclipse in the game. Alright, let's get started. I have two buttons and two indicating torches. Acer to Beaser. Acer to Beaser. So, if uh, this button is selected, then what? This track switches. Now, you have to give the perspective from this point of view. So, the first button is off. So, it's going to skip over this one. And this is the one that will be used. And continue on its way. Now, for the other one. Now the first one will be the destination choice for the minecart. How does it come to be, you ask? We shall see. So the input starts here and it splits. This is the input for this NOR gate uh, or output. The output here is going to continue to a second NOR gate for the other button. Uh, so here's the NOR gate uh, input. From here is the output of the NOR gate. Uh, this will be the first NOR gate. I have deemed it so. And output continues here. There's a split here, but that just goes directly to the indicator light with a few uh, signal boosters and uh, inverters. Nothing special. But it goes to the signal light. And the output from the NOR gate will be constant so that means this signal to the indicator light will be constant as well and this continues to your typical track switch with the little red stones towards there now let's look at the split this falls up here goes down here now we'll be going underneath the output. This is the output of the first NOR gate to the typical. This passes underneath it. This is a booster torch because I ran out of 15 blocks. And this is the second input on the NOR gate. Every NOR gate has two inputs. See? Even this NOR gate has an input. The input here follow it. Uh, is the output of the button for the second button. So as you can see, output there is going to affect this NOR gate, just as the output here will affect this NOR gate. And the point is that the this is almost considered a positive switch. It turns the output positive. This is the negative switch. It turns the output for the NOR gate negative. And so you can have this is there's actually a better better system if you're only going to have uh, two destinations, and that would just be either a switch, a NOR gate if you must, but um, I mean like a lever or a NOR gate. Um, but this system is actually not designed for just two destinations but for uh, more than two destinations and the way that would work out is the split here you would have every single split go to they would be connected um, to some degree um, for instance every other uh, button button two three and four all of those uh, second outputs would be linked to this negative uh, on the NOR gate. 
So it doesn't have to be one gate. They could all tee up right here to this baby. And they could all turn it off. Likewise, this would turn off any other buttons that would still be active. So instead of going to each one and turning it off, go to the one of choice, select it. Um, might not be a perfect design, and sure as hell isn't compact. Uh, that is a crash. Lovely. But you get the idea.